good evening to all good evening very good evening fayas good evening kartika good evening and tony good evening is good evening to all darani good evening parimala good evening asha very good evening yeah good evening to all very good evening uh, ramesh good evening gautam nothing had happened okay isha good evening yes santhya good evening francis good evening saravanan srinivasan good evening good evening to all good evening good evening yeah without delay i am going to enter into today's session good evening to all hello everyone this is philip edit from pantaki learning and i welcome you all for engage your learning experience with pantaki learning anytime anywhere and any places we are always supporting to the students in a technical way what is our main vision we are going to help 10 million students to learn technical knowledge by the easy way and i welcome you all to today's session day 5 artificial intelligence masterclass i welcome you all once again i welcome you all are you guys are excited to listen to the classes if you guys are excited means please mention in the comment box as well up if you guys are excited means please mention in the comment box as well up i am also really excited to conduct the class so if you guys are excited means please mention in the comment box as well up then we can start the session then we can start the session if you guys are really like the session every day session means please hit the like button please hit the like button and the happy sunday to all and the gautam yeah it was a good 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 day actually thank you so much uh, most of the people answered thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you nirmala yeah good evening nirmala and deepika good evening Yes, guys. So, without delay, I am going to enter into today's session. So, today we are going to discussing about the movie recommendation system by using the machine learning system. Okay. So, in this particular topic, we are going to create a movie recommendation system, and without any machine learning algorithm, with the help of some similarity calculation, we can create this particular project. okay today we are going to discussing uh, we are not going to discussing about any i mean you know machine learning algorithm like that but we are going to discussing about the similarity things okay right so in this particular project in this particular project it is maybe that related to we were using like you know netflix amazon this kind of the things is the ott platform right you are usually watching the several movies i mean you know as you like okay in that particular past history of your watched list so automatically that particular things will recommend to you related to that particular things so in this particular i mean you know project we are going to create a recommended system okay right so without delay i am going to enter after that only we were discussing about many things here okay right so today we are going to discussing about the basic introduction of the movie uh, recommendation system and what are the types of i mean in a recommendation system we have and also the coding explanation and finally the result okay of course of course shankar i will explain slowly no problem yeah so today this particular things actually uh, the basic introduction of movie recommendation system a movie recommendation system is basically i mean you know machine learning based approach machine learning based approach to filter and predicting the user film preference based on their past choices so that's why i mentioned here once you are watching the i mean you know related particular videos maybe that um, hero based and superhero based and the story based and content based this kind of the things is very important here why because once you we are going to create the recommendation system in the sense we need to understand the i mean you know content based or uh, um, i mean you know uh, popularity based or this kind of the things why because you are usually watching i mean you know one particular hero movies in the sense automatically the computer will suggest it to you 
okay automatically it will be suggested to you that is why we are going to create these particular things today okay right yeah so what are all the i mean you know movie recommendation system what are all the types we have in the sense content based recommendation system popularity based recommendation system and collaborative based recommendation system so what is the meaning of the content based recommendation system my voice is clear guys my voice is clear please mention in the comment box i hope my voice is clear i hope my voice is clear as just a minute we'll check it yeah i hope my voice is clear now i hope my voice is clear now yeah so the movie recommendation system it is based on the content based on the popularity based on the collaborative you have to understand first you have to understand but what is that in the sense the content based in the sense depending on the stories and this, uh, depending on the this, i mean you know uh, the story based related it will be i mean you know uh, recommended like that maybe that it is uh, related to the heroes or cast this kind of the things it will be like you know content based system what is the popularity based in the sense maybe that that movie will reach to more so that is the reason that for example one of the movie uh, i mean in a very famous first top movies so these all are the things is a popularity based for example first 10 uh, uh, movies top 10 movies that is the popularity right so presently that movie is very reached in the sense that is also the top movies so that is popularity so what about the content based it is depending on the heroes and depending on the cast and depending on the director and depending on the stories these all are the things is related to the content based what about the popularity so depending on the i mean you know uh, the movie based review based for example uh, for example this movie is i mean you know listed in the top 10 in the sense that is the popularity that is the popularity so that's why we i mean you know we have to recommend these kind of the things it having the i mean you know um, different uh, certain system that means content based and popularity based what about the collaborative i mean you know based in the sense the collaborative based in the sense grouping i mean you know watched movie that means for example so one certain group usually watching these particular movies in the sense that is also one kind of the i mean you know recommendation for example yaar circle your circle your connected circle your connected circle people i mean you know a certain group of the people watching the similar i mean you know movies in the sense that is the collaborative based recommendation system okay today we are going to i mean you know going to create the recommendation system based on the content based on the content the, the best example for the recommendation system that is amazon prime and also the netflix usually you are watching these particular i mean you know movies in that particular platform maybe you had an experience related to the recommendation system for example depending on your past watched movies you will get the some recommendation from related that movie i mean you know that uh, uh, movies right so that is the reason this is the best example for the recommendation system that may be that amazon prime or uh, netflix okay hope you guys are understood maybe that you had an experience related to this particular platform for example you are i mean you know usually watching one particular hero in the sense that particular hero movie you will get the recommendation from that particular platform that is the content based maybe that you are usually watching one particular director movie in the sense automatically you will get some recommendation from there that is related to the content based maybe that one particular movie is very reached presently right now in the sense that is related to the popularity suggestion okay so this is the way we can get it the i mean you know recommendation hope you guys are understood 
you are usually watching one particular hero movies in this and that is the content based director uh, movie you are usually watching one certain uh, particular uh, director movie in this and that is the content based what about the popularity in this and presently that movie is very boom or that movie is very popular or that movie is one of the topest movie in present i mean you know uh, uh, in the cinema industry in this and that will be the popularity okay so that is the popularity based i mean you know uh, like uh, recommendation system okay hope you guys are clear now i am going to enter just a minute guys yeah what are the process we are going to follow today what are the process we are going to follow today in the sense first we need to collecting the data for the i mean you know certain uh, uh, related recommendation system so collecting the data and so what is our particular target here so we are going to create the movie recommendation system depending on the i mean you know past uh, movies details okay and we, we are going to enter once you i mean you know uh, collect the data once you collect the data that does i mean you know we need to enter in the pre process why because of the cleaning process is very important here the cleaning and properizing the data is very important so that's why the pre processing is very important to do that and what about the next feature extraction once the data is collected because of the, it is like a text based data size and data sets so that is the reason we need to convert the data into the like you know uh, numerical based uh, value so that means that is nothing but a feature extraction after that user in i mean you know input once you are going to mention one particular movie in the sense that movie will i mean you know recommend the related movies so i will say that once i explain that one in the sense you can understand easily uh, with the help of the coding okay and one more thing we are going to use here that is a quotient similarity that means what in this and depending on the i mean you know title depending on the index the movie will be suggested the similarity is we need to calculate with the help of the web prizer okay i will explain one by one then, then only you can understand uh, with the help of the coding okay right so here the list of the movie we are going i mean you know recommended based on the user input based on the user input we are going to create for example once you are going to use the iron man i mean you know uh, entering the user input related to the iron man that time the movie that time the based on this particular user input it will be giving the 30 movie recommendation so that is the list of the movie here so first we need to collecting the data and this is pre processing already we knew this what is the purpose of the pre processing if there any null values is there any missing values that is also i mean you know like uh, 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 clean the uh, missing values is there any null values in this we need to clean that so this all are the things data pre processing what about the next thing the feature uh, uh, extraction is very important once you splitting the data or once you i mean you know you having the bunch of the data related based on the text in the sense we need to convert the numerical value here so numerical value in the sense computer can be understandable with the help of the numerical value okay that is the reason we need to convert that so after i mean you know the feature extraction is completed we need to i mean you know create the user input once you are entering the one particular movie in the sense with the help of the quotient similarity with the help of the quotient similarity based on the user input the movie will, the movie will be recommended the movie will be recommended to you this all are the process we are going to follow once you are going to entering the coding okay right yes so now i am going to entering the coding yeah so i have the code in this particular directory okay so this is my directory current working directory so this is the folder and um, this is the file okay this is the file this is the data set we are going to use in this particular data set you can get it from the i mean you know gaggle okay so this particular data set it is available in the i mean you know internet platform maybe that you can get it i'm not sure but maybe maybe that you can get it the gaggle okay try to search there you can get it this particular i mean you know data set 
okay these particular data set having the amino different different columns i will explain one by one then only you can understand easily so this is my current working directory okay right so initially initially we need to import the amino necessary library we need to import the necessary library here so what are the libraries we need here in the sense first we need to import the numpy and also the pandas and dip uh, I mean, you know like you know a dip flip in the sense that is i mean you know differentiation between the i mean you know these things or that things okay so here the feature extraction text is there so this will be helpful for text into the text into the numerical value so this will be very helpful for you to converting the text into the numerical and this will be like you know pair wise cosine similarity this will be helpful for i mean you know giving this will be more helpful for giving the i mean you know list of the movie okay so what are the libraries we are going to use here numpy pandas tiplip and sk learn the feature extraction so this is the one of the module text so tf idf vectorizer so this will be helpful for converting the text into the numerical value and the matrices and pairwise so this will be the cosine similarity will help to i mean you know giving and comparing the the cosine similarity will help to comparing the i mean you know data why because we are going to use that okay i will explain one by one then only you can understand easily for this now we are going to collecting the data how it can be possible to collecting the data in the sense we need to load the data with the help of the read csv okay read csv hope you guys are understood okay yeah one person is mentioned the screen is not visible please make the screen uh, full and uh, try to change the resolution value okay right so if you guys are i mean you know uh, enjoying the session means please mention in the comment box s philip and hit the like button too yeah so now i am going to create the one particular variable that is movies data that is movies data and we need to load the data with the help of the read csv so this is the i mean you know that particular data okay that particular data set so that's why i mentioned here loading the data from the csv file to the i mean you know pandas data frame so this is nothing but the data frame creation the data frame name is movies data okay right after that we are going to i mean you know confirm it is loaded or not so with the help of the i mean you know display the first five rows so with the help of dot head function it will be display the first five rows already we knew this right so because of it is the pandas already you learned right yeah so this is the particular data set you can see this this is the index and this is the budget of the movie this is the budget of the movie and this is the genre of the movie and this is the home page so which platform it is available so this all are the things it will be there okay and this is the id for that particular movie and keywords what are the keywords in the sense what are the i mean you know based of the movie so uh, maybe that it is related to the kind of the genre so this is the keyword so depending on the keyword depending on the genre depending on the title we can recommend the movie of course okay right so here here just uh, make the screen uh, full and just change the resolution value okay increase the resolution value maybe that you will be get it the i mean you know uh, clear screen okay right so uh, this all are the data set we have so budget genre home page and id and also this is the keyword this is the keyword in the sense the movie based keyword culture future and space war so this all are the i mean in you know, a keywords for that particular movie so what are the i mean you know title so that is avatar that is avatar and overview of this movie and popularity the range and you can see this and status of the movie tagline of the movies and title of the movie and vote count and cast is very important why because the content based in the sense we need to concentrate the i mean in a heroes maybe that if you are usually watching the one particular hero you are watching movie the one particular hero in the sense that is also the i mean you know recommendation system and also crew and cast 
so cast is very important here this is the i mean the actors names and one more thing yeah here are so the director names so director is a very important for the content based cast is very important for the content based and genre is important for the content based and popularity and one more thing uh, is very important so that is uh, review keywords is very important because based on this keyword based on this keyword the movie will be recommended once you mentioning that one okay once you mentioning that one you will be get it the same recommendation of that particular movie because of the keywords or genres whatever it is okay right so this is the data set we have so how much i mean you know uh, they, i mean you know now we we are going to i mean you know see the how much size of the data that means the shape of the data i will be display so movie data this is the data frame name okay so with the help of dot shape it will be displays how many rows and how many columns so here 24 columns and 4803 this is the rows so this is the movies okay right so now we need to i mean you know selecting the relevant features for the recommendation why because here some unwanted things i mean you know for our recommendation system some uh, thing some data some features is not necessary for example budget is not necessary okay home page is not necessary id is not necessary okay the language is in the sense it is a common so sometimes sometimes the language is necessary for us okay so necessary for us okay so that is that meaning of i mean you know okay that is not i mean no okay right so uh, it is the language that is the language also sometimes it is needed but here we are using the one five, uh, for example five categories five features of the recommendation system so based on the <coughs> based on the these features based on the these features we are going to recommend the movie okay so we are going to create uh, with the help of genre and with the help of the keyword with the help of the tagline and with the help of the cast with the help of the director so these all are the common for the content based recommendation system okay so here yeah so this is the i mean you know data set okay this is the data set so we are going to choose the features for that that is selected features okay selected features here so here i selected the genre and keywords taglines cast and the director this are not the content okay right so now it is going to print okay after that is there any null values we need to clean that or fill that that particular missing values so that is the reason we are i am going to use the for loop here that is the iteration uh, uh, loop okay so for example if you are going to use the for loop in the sense it will be iterating over these particular sequence what is the sequence we are going to create that is the genre the genre and the key uh, what are the genres here so genres and keywords taglines cast and director so these are all the features okay in this particular features only so we need to clean all the data i mean you know for example is there any null values is there any unwanted data so we need to clean that okay so that is the reason that is the reason we are going to iterating over that so that's why i mentioned here replacing the null values with the null string that means what in the sense for example one empty columns will be there so we need to fill it up or clean it up so fill it up in the sense with the help of some strings uh, strings for example yen yen ne not available like that okay so here for feature for feature try to change your i mean you know try to make your ski, uh, screen full and just the change the resolution just the change the resolution um, uh, that is uh, maybe that related to 720p or 1080p okay change the resolution you will be get a uh, clear screen okay right okay now now we are going to iterate and clean that or fill that particular missing values so for features this is the iterating variable and this is the sequence this is the sequence that is genre keywords and tagline and the cast and the director now 
Now we are going to, I mean, you know, call that particular data frame for this particular feature, and we need to clean or fill with the help of the fillna function. So what is the purpose of the fillna? Now NA in the sense not available. So here, here. Uh, with the help of these particular function, we are going to fill with one particular string. Okay, one particular string. So that is the reason dot fill now will help to fill all the missing values or empty columns, empty rows. Okay, right. So after completing this one, we need to combine all the I mean you know five selected features because that is I mean you know one particular I mean in you know, a text. So combine features. With the help of the movie data of genre plus movie data of the keyword plus movies data of the tagline first and movie data of the cast and movie data of the director. These particular data you can see here. So these particular genres and keywords and uh, yeah title. So these are the things. So we are going to merge. Okay, so that is the reason here we are using like this. So combine the feature, combine the features for the data frame names of movies data. Okay, so after combining, we need to print this. So print of combined feature. So these are the things. Okay, these are the things. So this is the genre. Okay, it's action, adventure, fantasy, and this will be like you know keyboard. Keyword, okay. Keyword. Just a minute. Audio is not clear, huh? Yeah. Just make your screen full and change the resolution value, okay? So that that time you will be getting the I mean, you know, clear screen. Okay, fine. Yeah. So now the combined features done. After that, we need to convert in the text into the numeric because of the computer expecting not a string, so it will be the computer will be expecting the numeric. So that is the reason. With the help of TF IDF vectorizer, will help to converting. So that's why I mentioned here converting the text data to the features vector. So that is the reason. With the help of the TF IDF vectorizer, TF IDF vectorizer and this vectorizer will convert the value with the help of the fit transform. With the help of the fit transform for fit transform for these particular text. Hope you guys are understood. Already we load the data, okay, and display the data and shape of the data we find, and we need I mean, you know um, create the I mean you know, necessary create the necessary features so that is the selected features this features is very needed okay these features is very needed okay that that is nothing but the selected feature after that we need to replace is there any null values or empty columns we need to fill that with the help of the fill now function now we need to combine all the selected features so combine in the sense we need to uh, concatenate all the columns all the columns value so okay here the column values is concatenated after that we need to convert the text into the numeric so that is the reason converting the text data to the features vector then with the help of the fit transform it will be converted to the numeric value okay right so now print all these features vector okay so that means with the help of the fit transform and with the help of the tf idea vectorizer Okay, with the help of the TF IDF vectorizer, the value will be changed like this. Change like this. Okay, right. So now this is the I mean you know for combined feature. This values for the combined feature. Now I am going to enter the to calculate the similarity. Similarity. So what is the similarity in this sense? Getting the similarity score by using the cosine similarity. What is the meaning of that exactly in the sense? Once you collected this particular, I mean, you know, converting numeric value, we need to collect the similarity score. Similarity score for between the, I mean, you know, for this particular movie. For example, Avatar is the one kind of the movie, and Spectre is the one kind of the movie, and John Catcher is the one kind of the movie, right? So here, these particular movies having the, I mean, you know, certain score. 
so we need to compare the and we need to calculate the similarity the score for this particular movie after that only after that only we can okay after that only we can create the recommendation system with the help of the similarity value okay i will explain i will explain so now converting this value text into the numeric with the help of the tf idea vectorizer and with the help of the fit transform function okay fit transform function yeah next we are going to calculate the cosine similarity so getting the similarity score using the cosine similarity you can see this for this features vector for this features vector for all the movie okay so this is the index this is the index this is the movie okay this is the index and this is the movie so now we are going to compare the score similarity score for the i mean you know uh, every movies so with the help of cosine similarity for the feature vectors okay with the help of the cosine similarity for features vector that means this particular value so we need to compare all the values we need to compare all the values for the particular movie because you can see this value right 4803 here we having the 4803 movies okay right so now now we are going to compare with the help of the similarity why means once you are i mean you know getting the numerical value we can identify the similarity with the help of we can identify with the help of the cosine similarity that co cosine similarity will help to compare the i mean you know similarity value compare the similarity value once it is very near in the sense we can recommend easily for example the value is 0.1 fine okay so another movie it is nearly 0.2 in the sense it is very similar and it will be it 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 will be helpful for recommend easily with the help of that similarity value so that is the reason we can calculate we can calculate with the help of the cosine similarity you can see this you can see this this is the similarity value of this particular features vector okay right so similarity shape between the all the movies okay all the movies now the calculator uh, the based on the similarity value okay based on the similarity value yes okay yes okay sure uh, because i have to share i have to share to the internship user only so i can't share the code okay just try it yourself once i explain this one yeah okay with the help of the tf idf vectorizer uh, mr gautam so that's why i mentioned here okay this is this particular i mean you know tf idf vectorizer and counter vectorizer will be there so that particular i mean you know feature extraction method this will be help to convert in the text into the i mean you know numeric okay right right now i am going to entering to calculate the similarity after completing this one we are going to i mean you know create the i mean you know input from the user so that means what in the sense getting the movie name from the user that we can create it with the help of the movie name and with the help of the input function enter the favorite movie name okay now i am entering the iron man now i entering the iron man so that is the reason the list of the movie will be suggested to us okay so this is getting the user now creating the list all the movies name in the data set okay now the list of all the title the list of all the title for the movies data frame title to the list title to the list so this is for i mean you know our purpose to understanding the i mean you know uh, recommendation generator okay right so here this is the data see all this name will be there this is all like you know movies name this all the datas only for the movies title so the title of all the i mean you know list of all the title the data frame and this is the title to the list so this means what in the sense it is going to create the i mean in you know, one particular list 
this will be help to create one particular list for the i mean you know titles of the movie okay right now we are going to find the closest match value okay so here we already i mean you know calculated the similarity value okay similarity of this value with the help of the cosine similarity this is this value we have already for every movies okay right so now finding the closest match for the movie names given by the user okay so that is find the close match with the help of this particular i mean in a module t flip okay that is means difference flip so this will be help to match and find them so find the best match with the help of the diff flip to get closer match so this is the function which i get it from the diff flip okay diff flip module we can get it for this particular function that means get close matches now we have the list that is movie's name okay and movie's name and also the list okay so movie's name in this sense this is the input getting from the user okay right so this is the list for all the movies in that particular data set okay now print okay now print so with the help of diff flip with the help of diff flip and get closest matches okay so this movie name which i enter iron man right so iron man so this iron man is going to compare all the i mean you know list of the movies title so it is going to compare with this only iron man is compare with this particular list this particular list so I, now i am going to print this closest match only it will be display the similar names okay similar names means like you know iron man 1 iron man 2 and iron man 3 it is not like that the good recommendation right so now we have to find the closest match so close match for find the close match of zero that means what in the sense print the close match of zero the index okay now i'm going to display this is the iron man now finding the index of the movie title finding the index of the movie title then only we can then only we can i mean you know finding the best movie i mean you know similar movies of that so here the index of the movie and movies data okay right now we are going to equal to the closest match and getting the index as value so for this iron movie the index value is 68 the index value is 68 comparative to that with the help of the index comparison we can get it okay right so now we are going to calculate the similarity score for all this for the with the help of the looping so enumerate with a, it's similar like a looping okay right so now we are going to calculate the getting a list of the similar movies getting the list of the similar movies with the help of the similarity score how in the sense now once i enter the iron man movie i can get it the index of the movie with the help of you know these particular things so movie dot title is equal to closed match so already we can find it here so the closed match the index value we can find it that is 68 okay right so now we are going to calculate the similarity score so we are going to create the list for that particular similarity score for each movies so list of enumerate is nothing but the looping okay so that is like you know iterating that so similarity of the index of the movie similarity of the index of the movie why once you find the index and you knew the already i mean you know similarity score okay so we need to comparing that so now the similarity score list will be there for example you can see this zero this will be the score and one this will be the score so zero and one is the index number this is the similarity score that means uh, the uh, text is converted to the i mean in a numeric right that value is here now you can see this for example this is the 0.03 and you can see this is there any similarity i mean in a very similar values closest to the match no you can find it here so depending on this value we can recommend easy 
depending on these things we can find easily for for example this value okay right now we are going to find the length of the similarity score then shorter the values okay why because the shorter the values you can see this this is the similarity co score for all the i mean you know movie title okay now keys so this will be like you know index and this will be the score okay then reverse this is nothing but the descending order so descending order in that sense top okay top uh, i mean you know values to the i mean you know uh, less value that means uh, uh, for example uh, it is a descending order that is the reason we have to convert yes okay thank you gautam thank you gautam yeah okay fine so now shorted similar movies here okay now we are going to create so with the help of the shorted we are going to i mean you know calculate the values and shorted the values in the descending order okay with the help of the lambda function this is the index and this is the i mean you know similarity score value okay so with the help of the reverse true reverse true it will be uh, considering as the descending order okay right so this will be the list uh, list of the shorted similar movies now i am going to print uh, now i am going to print the name of the similar movies based on the index based on the index because it is very easy to access that that is the reason because we can't concentrating on this value okay but we can i mean you know uh, compare with the help of this particular we can call it as easily for this particular index okay right so now now print the name of the similar movies based on the index so print the movie suggested for you okay so this is the i mean you know uh, initially it will be starts from the first index okay so movies then shorted similar movies okay shorted similar movies then index of the movie zero then title from the index this is the data okay we are going to collecting the i mean you know index depending on the index we can i mean you know displace that so normally here we are i mean you know we are using i mean you know 30th recommendation 30 recommendation if you want i mean in you know, 20th recommendation in research you can mention here that is 20 or 40 i mean you know 40 or 10 whatever it is okay so title from the index this particular data set so this is the index is equal to index then this is the title will be displaced that okay right now we are going to print this okay right so why uh, i mention i plus 1 in the sense that is increment of one of this okay for till the 30 if you mention 20 in the sense 20 recommendation will come okay fine so this is the recommendation for related to this particular movie with the help of the that particular similarity value and also the index so here the movie is iterating over this particular shorted list and we are going to compare with that okay then the title will be displaced like this so this is the title of all this this is the title of the recommendation for your i mean you know depending on the user input depending on the user input so now we are going to uh, usually once you are going to create the model in the sense we need to i mean you know uh, find we need to find the i mean you know uh, prediction right so we need to enter the prediction that is the reason now movie names this is the input of the famous i mean you know enter your favorite movie so this is the list of all the title okay this stuff all the title then find the closest matches value with the help of the different okay tip flip get this function after that close matches found okay close matches found in the sense zero in the sense that is the index value so once the close matches found in the sense this will be the returns like you know the index value that is uh, maybe that 60 or 70 whatever it is now the index of the movie so it is going to calculate like you know the values of that then uh, we are going to list over the similarity 
then shot at all this and suggested this and finally it will be returning like this here i enter avatar so this will be returning like this okay once i am going to enter again run it again i enter the i mean in a different movie here just a minute yeah for example i am going to enter the different movie here yeah fine the title avatar spectrum okay so this movie i am going to enter what is the written uh, what is the suggestion uh, recommendation will come okay now uh, yeah just a minute it is taking time it's running actually okay now, here the picture okay it will be returning okay right now it is going to return the same thing so it will be suggested see here this is the recommendation depending on the value this is the i mean you know uh, this is the title it is depending on the similarity cosine similarity values and also the i mean you know uh, that particular similarity values okay right yes so finally it will be returning the i mean you know 30 recommendation movies related movies okay 30 recommendation movies okay see here yeah you can't understand ah huh? yeah, actually it is little bit clumsy actually so yeah i will i will tell you because maybe that is the screen is not clear all the people are set like that only i don't know what is the reason just to make the screen full and uh, increase the i mean you know uh, uh, what is that uh, resolution value okay right yeah see here the main important things the main important things here we need to calculate the i mean you know cosine similarity for the features okay that is one okay yes now we need to find the similarity shape that is all the i mean you know titles will be that like this now i am going to enter this so this will be the i mean you know title will be created okay this is the list for all uh, all our data set you can see this okay you can see this okay right so depending on this score depending on this particular score we can find the similar values once you are entering the one particular name for example you mention ion ion man right so that ion man maybe that it is a 68 maybe that this value okay this value this will be the going to analyze and compare and compare all the title to match the closest similarity for example depending on the 0.07 value depending on the 0.07 value 07 on 06 on 05 or 06 to 07 okay 06 to 07 this value is the closest value closest matches that will be the recommendation that will be the recommendation depending on this particular value so that is the process we are going to follow here we are going to making the list okay we are we can go to the list and uh, this is the closest match find the closest match with the help of the dip flip okay then uh, so this will be the displays like this okay depending on the value now the closest matches we are going to find with the help of this particular function and after that this will be the return the finding the index of the i mean you know with the title okay then it will be the similarity score will come like this with the help of the index of the movie then finally we can i mean you know find with the help of these particular things okay right so finally it will be returning the 30 movies of the recommendation okay fine so these all are the topic tomorrow we are going to discussing about the one of the basic i mean you know interesting topic for machine learning okay maybe that it bit of confusing to you okay yes i know i know i will share the code i will share the code uh, to you all then only you can understand easily why we are doing like that this kind of the things okay so it is a little bit i mean you know initially once you have learned basic machine learning in the sense 
may be that you could understand uh, sometimes that i mean you know text to the converting the numeric this kind of the things maybe that you can understand okay sometimes you can't understand so because of the some clumsiness okay right so we'll uh, explain tomorrow one of the different topic okay right so yeah this is the i mean you know recommendation movie recommendation system tomorrow itself we, we are going to discussing about the employee salary prediction so that time you can understand more about this for the machine learning process okay i just stopped today i just stopped today so before closing this session i have to share about the internship yeah yeah thank you thank you for the good reply yes yes okay yes okay so if you if you, if you guys are interested to in, uh, join the internship means please to join the internship what you will get for the internship in the sense you will be getting the e certificate for the internship highly organized video content and downloadable files and downloadable ppts and assignments and flexible time for the i mean you know uh, learning and access period 60 days okay every day every day you will be get okay every day you will be get for i mean you know recorded videos and recorded materials normally we charge 1000 rupees but we are giving 400 rupees offer use this coupon code that is welcome ai so the discounted fee 600 rupees okay right so the ai bantel courses are also available so that is i mean you know uh, combined with python machine learning deep learning and artificial intelligence this particular course is also available so the offer is uh, 999 rupees but normally we charge 4000 rupees but we are giving only 1000 rupees okay right the link is mentioned in the command box okay guys so in this particular internship we are going to cover all the i mean you know projects related machine learning deep learning and computer vision as well okay right so please do join the internship you will be get more knowledge learning activity this center yeah so before uh, going to wind up uh, this is my time okay this is my time you don't i mean you know you don't always need a plan you don't always need a plan okay sometimes you just need to breathe sometimes you just need to breathe and trust let's go see what happen why because every time you have a plan in the sense that will be like you know very boring okay so just need to change something so uh, just go with the flow whatever it has happened just go with the flow okay so that's why i taken this one this is also more suitable for you okay right so you don't always need a plan sometimes you just need to breathe and trust let go and see what happen definitely the miracle will be happen go with the flow okay go with the flow and uh, be happy always and one more thing spread love to everyone spread love to everyone and everywhere as you go okay right spread love everywhere you go okay right so this all are the i mean you know motivational quotes today yes uh, yeah thank you thank you so much for your good reply yes okay i accepted your feedback so tomorrow itself i will be corrected for the screen and also the audio okay right yeah ppt um, i have to uh, share only for the internship user i can't share to all yes any queries i can accept i can accept uh, this was yeah uh, yes okay today session was very boring i don't know what is the reason actually yeah maybe that uh, depending on the topic it will be very boring i think so okay no problem i will make it i will make it uh, and i will give my best for the next day classes okay sorry for that uh, mr pusari sorry sorry for that maybe that you will be very uh, disappointed today i don't know i don't know what is the reason but i will correct it 
okay so because of maybe that screen is not clear and also the audio is not clear yes thank you thank you um, and uh, okay i can accept yeah difficult to understand yeah yeah i can understand actually yes i can understand any queries shabani i will correct it sorry for uh, that actually you can contact i will uh, if you have any queries related to the internship 892554894 sorry 8925338489 this is the number yes uh, yeah maybe that uh, video and audio that was a problem today i'm sorry for that actually sorry for the inconvenience guys yes okay guys just i'm going to wind up i'm going to wind up maybe that uh, today's class was a little bit confusing because of my screen and also the audio i will correct it tomorrow i will correct it tomorrow and uh, sorry for the inconvenience too okay right thank you guys if you guys are really like the session means please give your feedback into that particular facebook group okay into the particular facebook group okay if you have any queries any suggestions or any technical queries you can ask that particular i mean you know facebook group okay right so thank you guys thank you thank you uh, tomorrow we will be see in the different topic okay bye bye and thank you so much good night have a good dreams and have a delicious dinner bye same class only but you can get it all the everyday class materials and also the recorded videos recorded videos yeah thank you guys we'll see you tomorrow okay we'll see you tomorrow we'll correct uh, this particular videos issues and also the uh, audio issues okay Yeah. Okay guys. Good night and have a good dreams. Bye bye.